Ooh, a constructive response problem. Small baskets of tomatoes or tomatoes are sold at a vegetable stand for $3 per basket. Large baskets of tomatoes are sold at the stand for $5 per basket. Only whole numbers of baskets may be purchased. Makes sense. A customer purchases a total of eight baskets of tomatoes and pays $36. This is before he even says that I know this is systems of equations. So we're going to write and solve a system of equations that models the number of small baskets and the number of large baskets that the customer purchases show or explain your work. So we're dealing with tomatoes. Okay, we know that we've got a price, a price, a price. So I'm going to circle this in red. A price, a price, and a price. Small baskets, X, are $3 per basket. 3X. On top of that, $5 are going to be the cost of the large baskets, which is Y, so 3X plus 5Y, and this person is paying $36. So usually when you have a system of equations, one of your equations is going to have to do with price, cost, money, money, money. The other equation is usually total. Now, I don't know my total, but what I know is I bought eight of them. So the small baskets plus the Y baskets are going to equal eight baskets. So not only am I doing this to, I, I have to write and solve a system that models the number, show or explain all of your work. Not much explaining, I'm gonna show it. And the way I'm gonna show it is I'm going to use elimination. Now you can use substitution because the numbers or the letters right here are pretty nice, but I'm gonna use elimination because everything is already in order. Let's get rid of X. The way I'm going to get rid of X is I'm going to multiply the bottom row by negative 3. That leaves me with a top row of 3X plus 5Y equals 36. And if I multiply the entire bottom row by negative 3, I have negative 3 times X, so negative 3X. Negative 3 times Y, so minus 3Y, equals negative 3 times 8, which is negative 24. Okay, add those rows up. The X in this case is going to go away. 5Y and 3Y is 2Y, and 36 minus 24 is 12. So let's bring the 2Y equals 12 up here. Divide both sides by 2. Y is 6. That means this person bought 6 large baskets. Now, I need to find out what X is, and common sense would tell us we know what X is. But let's use this bottom of equation, because it looks nicer, and rewrite the bottom equation, replacing the Y with 6, because I know that Y is 6. Look at these colors. So I'm going to do that. Rewrite this equation, replacing Y with 6. Subtract 6 from both sides. X equals 2, just like I knew would happen. So write and solve a system of equations that models the number. So I have my system solve for x is 2, y is 6. I get the point 2, 6. Now I'm leaving it like this, knowing very well that that is not a typical answer for a word problem. You know, the, the, there was no question being asked of how many of each I got. It just says write an equation or a system of equations, which I did, solve it, which I did, uh, that's it. Doesn't it, it doesn't say you must answer this now, which is probably going to be part of the next part, which I will go to right now. So I'm going to write out the fact that I had two six up here once it shows up on the screen, whenever it shows up, any minute now, any second, as it loads on the screen, we wait to write out 2, 6 right here. And remember, 2 meant small, 6 meant large. So LRG, 
allergy. Small basket. Okay, that that information is the same as before. Another customer claims that he can purchase a total of ten baskets of tomatoes and pay forty five dollars. Use a system of equations to describe that uh, this uh, other customer's purchase to explain why his claim is incorrect. All right, so it's three dollars for small ones, five dollars for large ones, and he paid forty five dollars. The total X plus Y is 10 of them. So some guy, this somehow this guy is saying he spent $45 on 10 baskets and there's no way, which it would be no way. Well, let's see why there's no way. I have an idea as to what's going to happen, but I don't want to give it away. So let's, since we did uh, elimination for the last one, let's do substitution for this one. So let's take this bottom equation Subtract x from both sides to get us y equals negative x plus 10. And what we'll do is we will plug that back into the y up here. This is called the blob method. The blob method. So you're my blob. All right. I'm going to over here, where I have a little bit more space, write out the top equation but replace y with negative x plus 10. So 3x plus 5 instead of y, negative x plus 10, close it, equals 45. Substitution, well, not substitution, uh, distribution, uh, 5 times negative x is negative 5x, 5 times 10 is 50, that equals 45. 3x minus uh, 5x is negative 2x, plus 50 equals 45. Subtract 50, subtract 50, negative 2x equals negative 5, divide by negative 2, divide by negative 2, x equals 2 and a half. I could solve for y, but I don't need to because we need to use a system of equations that describes this other uh, customer's purchase to explain why his claim is incorrect. His claim is incorrect because he bought two and a half baskets that are small baskets. And you might be like, well, what's the problem with that? Only whole numbers of baskets may be purchased. So this customer claims to have purchased two and a half baskets. Since I'm running out of room, I'll explain the rest without writing it down. But you can't buy two and a half small baskets because you can only buy whole numbers of baskets. And that's it. It's just a two-parter. So, you know, when these guys are graded, you're probably going to get graded on the equations that you make, the answer that you got, maybe the work that you show. But yeah, constructive response. Fun, 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 fun.